reopening on the classified discovery, kicking up a storm of questions for the current president of the United States. A source telling CNN the documents found in Joe Biden's private office included intelligence memos on a range of allies and adversaries, Iran among them. More details in just a moment. But just minutes ago, no response from President Biden. He is in Mexico to shouted questions about this classified material discovery. It's a repeat of last night. The president hearing, then ignoring, shouted questions, asked to talk about that disclosure. Look at the picture. Where is he? Next to the Attorney General of the United States, Merrick Garland, who will eventually have to decide if this inquiry into his boss deserves a special counsel. Here is what we know this hour. The find has sparked a federal investigation ordered by Attorney General Garland and led by a Chicago U.S. attorney who is a Trump administration holdover. Ten documents, a source says, bore classified markings, and they date back to Mr. Biden's time as vice president. And Biden lawyers say they followed procedure to the letter, immediately alerting the National Archives when those documents were found back on November 2nd. But there is also plenty still in need of explanation here. No explanation as of right now for why Mr. Biden had those documents or exactly what they contained. No explanation also about why the Biden White House kept word of the documents and the investigation quiet for two plus months now. Already, Republicans making a very public case. Congress should look into this. How long have they been sitting around? Who had access uh, all of this time? How many people had access all of this time? Where's the FBI raid? You know, where is this big show of force to make sure there's no other classified documents there? I don't know enough about uh, the difference in the volume and the difference in cooperation. I think those are questions that we've got to have a committee ask. I guess at this point, I'm not willing to take the Biden administration's word for it. Let's ask a few follow-up questions. With me in studio to share their reporting and their insights, CNN's Dana Bash, CNN's Evan Perez, the former federal prosecutor Shan Wu, and CNN's Jamie Gangel. Jamie, let's walk as clearly as we can about what we do know and what we don't know uh, in terms of what was discovered. Your reporting is the search of a private office, lawyers involved because the former vice president, now president, knew there was sensitive family materials in there. He wanted somebody sensitive looking at them. They come across an envelope, open it up, and... So, by and large, I think we have to underscore 98, 99% of what is found in this office is absolutely personal Biden material, including things like uh, the arrangements for his son Beau's uh, funeral, condolence letters. But what happens is, as they're going through the boxes, the lawyer who is doing it for, because these were confidential family materials, opens a box and there is a plain manila envelope that says it's stamped VP personal. So. Maybe that's how this all happened. When it got packed up, someone thought it was personal. The lawyer opens the envelope, and there is something that says classified right there. He closes the envelope. Houston, we have a problem. He makes the appropriate calls. He says to the National Archives, come and get it. What we know is that when they go through, there were about three or four boxes that uh, did not appear once they started going through them to have just personal things, and what they find, a number of records that are unclassified but fall under the Presidential Records Act, and then they find 10 documents that are classified. And what my source says is they include intelligence memos, national security memos, background briefing memos that cover areas from Iran, Ukraine, and the UK. All right, wait, we'll come back to this for more. Now I'm just going to, where are we in this investigation? The president is overseas right now, well, he's south of the border, uh, out of the country, uh, with the Attorney General of the United States, who, when he got wind of this, decided he wanted somebody who he could say was impartial to look at this. So the Trump-appointed U.S. attorney in Chicago looks at this. What's the process? Right, so John Lausch, who's the, 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 the one of the few uh, Trump appointees who has remained in the, in the current uh, Justice Department, he has been doing a review uh, with the FBI, and this is a standard process. This happens, actually, you know, more often than people realize, not just with former presidents, obviously, right. and the former vice presidents. Um, so the FBI has a process where they take a look at these documents to try to understand, you know, wh whether they're still classified, 
what, uh, who owns that information, which intelligence agency would own that information, and then whether there's been any harm done to national security as a result of them being stored in a place where they should not have been, and clearly this is what that, that, that the case uh, where what happened here. What I understand has happened now is that Lausch and his team have completed at least the initial part of this, and they've come back to the Justice Department, they've come back to Merrick Garland, and the Attorney General faces a, an important decision. Uh, it's sort of like an inflection point of this investigation, which is, what do we do next? Do we open a formal, full-blown investigation? Um, and uh, having seen Merrick Garland operate, Chris Ray operate, you know, I think, you know, we've seen them try to make sure that they make sure everything is, is done by the book, cross every T, dot every I. So I think that's where I would su suspect uh, we go next. Uh, and so let's try to bring in facts and intersect them with the inevitable politics. Uh, this is getting more attention than maybe it might otherwise because of Donald Trump, the mm -hmm. former president of the United States, and all the documents found at Mar-a-Lago. From what we know so far, and let's keep an open mind that we will learn more, but from what we know so far, there are some significant and very, very important factual differences. Uh, that doesn't mean politically. We'll get to the politics in a minute. This is You see the Republicans bring in the Congress. Let's investigate, see. Everybody does it. Here we go. Uh, but in Biden's case, fewer than 12 documents, some top secret, U.S. attorney investigating. And again, based on what we know right now, his attorneys found this, immediately raised their hand and said, we have a problem. Please, what's the process? Uh, in Trump's case, 160 plus documents, 60 top, t top secret. He's been under investigation. He had lawyers sign off that all of them were returned. They found out they were not returned. This went on for months and months and months, and in fact, is still ongoing. What do you see as the differences we know right now from a legal perspective? And what are your questions for the current, the Biden team in this current context? Yeah, from a legal perspective, uh, it's totally different kinds of cases. I mean, everything from the way that the lawyers behaved in terms of immediately turning it over to the transparency that they're now uh, saying they've appointed a, not appointed, they have signed a difference, <laughs> a, a particular U.S. attorney to look at the preliminary investigation. The questions are simply going to be factual ones, John. How did the documents get there? And that'll take a little bit of work because it happened a while back. They need to trace that. How secure were they in that particular room? And probably the most important question, did President Biden know that the documents were there? Did he have any role in packing them up? And so we may get some answers later today. The president is supposed to take questions. He has refused to take shouted questions during his events in Mexico. His staff saying he wants to focus on the very, very important business uh, that he's discussing there. Mm -hmm. uh, he is supposed to have a more of a news conference-like event later today where we should get answers. One of the things he's going to have to answer for, and again, the facts as we know them so far are very different. President Biden, former President Trump, they're very different. But, but, this is Joe Biden talking about Donald Trump. He's going to have to answer for this. When you saw the photograph of the top secret documents laid out on the floor at Mar-a-Lago, what did you think to yourself looking at that image? How that could possibly happen. How one, anyone could be that irresponsible. And I thought... What data was in there that may compromise sources and methods? By that, I mean names of people who helped, or et cetera. And it's just uh, totally irresponsible. Again, the facts are different, but the totally irresponsible part. Joe Biden, 40 years in the Senate, mm -hmm. eight years as vice president. His calling card is, I know how to do the sensitive mm -hmm. stuff. I know how to do the hard stuff. I don't make these kind of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Even if it's an honest mistake, mm -hmm. there's a trail. When these documents are removed from a sensitive place, somebody knows they were removed. There's a log. They go out. They go to a file. Now he's going to have to answer for this. My understanding is that he is, he knows he's going to have to answer for it, is prepared to do it when he uh, faces reporters later today when he's in Mexico, uh, and that he, there is a very um, clear-eyed understanding of the politics of this inside the Biden administration. Right. Forgive me for, for interrupting, but yeah. Trump doesn't do nuance. He's just going no. to say, see, he does it too, well, everybody does it. Well, this is uh, a problem because it is very hard to explain. You have to have people who are willing to listen beyond the, see, I told you so. And in our polarized environment, it's hard to get people to listen. There is... The explanation for why they're there, we still do not know. Right. And I don't think we're going to know until the investigation is over. And I, my understanding is that the president is going to be careful with that because of the DOJ um, inquiry, maybe not an investigation yet. But when it comes to the facts that you just laid out in that graphic, that is what you are going to hear from the president. And he's right. They are very, very different situations. The Trump situation was he 
or his people took classified information and then misled or even lied to the National Archives and the federal government about what he had to the point where they had to go raid. The Biden uh, people found something in the closet, according to your excellent reporting, Jamie. As soon as they found it, they turned it over. It's past tense. It's done. It's not ongoing.